Hey, thanks a lot for taking a look at my video today. My name's Jim. I'm with kayakingitup.com. And today I'm going to show you a real simple cinch knot um, and give you at least one little tip that a lot of people forget about when they're tying these. Some of us have been tying these for many years and by skipping one small step uh, they've weakened the strength level of their leader. So I'm going to show you, give you a quick tip about how to fix some of that. So we take our hook, we take our leader, and we run it up through the eye. And we're going to want a fair amount of line up here to mess with. Okay, And we're going to wrap this tag line around the main leader like this. And this is a little bit of a coordination test. Uh, some of you, uh, I have uh, some arthritis that I have to deal with, so uh, you work this out with your fingers any way you can. So we're gonna wrap this five or six times. One, two, one, three, four, we'll do five. And then we're just gonna go ahead and bring it down and feed that right through the loop we made against the the eye of the hook, yeah? We're gonna hold on to that. Now, here's the here's the little, the little hot tip. Many people will tie this and just go ahead and cinch up on this knot, right? You just pull on the leader side of this and it will start to cinch down. The problem is if you don't have this lubricated with either saliva or water, as you cinch this down, especially if you do it very quickly, you can abrade your leader uh, and actually burn it and drastically reduce the strength of your the original strength of your leader. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, grab this a little bit better here. And we're just gonna go ahead and start cinching this down. You can see it start to pull together. They're all gonna pile up here at the top of the, the eye. Get a little help here just for time wise. Okay. So they're all going to pile up in a nice neat pile right at the top of your eye. And there is your cinch. And that is not coming off of there. And again, if you've lubricated that when you were cinching it up, you've got a really strong, let's cut this tag line off, you've got a really strong connection here with your hook. Okay? And as you can see, it is offset. This eye on this hook was an offset eye. And so when you tie just to the eye, you do uh, change the physics of the hook itself. So when I'm pulling this from my rod tip, no matter how I pull it, so here it is straight with the shank of the hook, but when I pull, you see how it tilts that hook back. And so most of the pressure is down through the bottom of this hook. So I don't use this uh, not very often anymore. Um, I do with a heavier uh, leader, uh, but anything, anything small like for trout, uh, I really prefer snell, the snelling my hooks because it ties the line directly to the shaft. But I've been using this knot since I, uh, 40 years, 50 years maybe. And so this is a really good strong uh, knot uh, that is good for just about everything. So again, make sure to lubricate this as you pull it so that it, it not only slides nice and easy, uh, but also you don't abrade your line. And then trim the tag line off and you're ready to go. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Uh, take a look at some of my other videos, not just the fishing ones, but there's a couple other knot, knots that I prefer and, and love to have you know how to use them. All right. Hey, have a good day. See you on the water.